Now that you have your own blog, it's important that you read other blogs in the industry so you can keep up with trends as well as just blogging strategies and styles. In this video, I want to show you how you can subscribe to blogs through RSS and how you can read those RSS feeds through iGoogle. To begin, let's go to google.com and in the top right corner, click sign in. If you already have a Google account, just put in your email address and password and click sign in, or if you don't, click create an account now. Just fill out the field and click I accept create my account. I already have an iGoogle account so I just want to show you around iGoogle and how it works. You'll notice here I have these areas that show specific information. These are called gadgets. You can move gadgets around simply by clicking on top of the blue bar and dragging your mouse cursor and then letting go. This allows you to organize your iGoogle page however you like. Each of these gadgets is controlled by RSS. So in other words, instead of you having to visit a website, you can have that website send you information. I've also organized my gadgets by certain topics. And I've done that over here on the left through what's called tabs. I have a tab for SEO or search engine optimization, one for real estate, one for beer, WordPress, Google, friends, and so forth. So if I want to read my favorite real estate blogs, I just click on real estate. From here, you'll see a gadget for each one of my favorite real estate blogs, including the real estate tomato, of course. And I can read them either by clicking on the headline that shows up within the gadget, that will take me to the article on the website itself. Or I can click on the little plus sign to the left of each headline. If I want to see this in a more reader friendly format, I can go over to my tab and click on the plus symbol to the left of real estate and then click on the blog that I want to read. This allows me to read that post in a much more user-friendly format. I can also move gadgets between tabs simply by dragging into a specific tab. To create a new tab, simply click the down arrow to the right of the tab title and choose Add a Tab. Name your tab, and then you have an option to have this checked, I'm feeling lucky, which Google will guess what kind of blogs you want to subscribe to, or if you want to choose your own blogs from scratch, uncheck that and click OK. And you'll see a new tab has been now added for blogging advice. I like to use iGoogle to subscribe to my favorite blogs. So to do that, all you have to do is go to your favorite website. And look for their RSS icon. An RSS icon is usually in the sidebar and it will look something like this. Sometimes they're customizable, but one feature that they all have is this little graphic that looks like sound waves. Just click on the RSS icon. And then on this page, it might look different on your computer depending on what kind of browser you're using. Just look for an area that says subscribe to this feed using and then choose Google. Click subscribe now. On the next page, it's going to ask if you want to add it to Google Homepage or to Google Reader, I'm showing you Google Homepage. So go ahead and click Add to Google Homepage. And you'll notice I now have a second gadget here for the Real Estate Tomato. On the top right of each gadget, you have some options. If I click this little down arrow, I can choose Edit Gadget and select how many headlines I would like to show up in my gadget. Or, if you have duplicate gadgets and you need to delete one, simply click that down arrow and click Delete This Gadget. In the top right corner of the gadget, you can click this icon to maximize it into full screen. Using iGoogle, you can now keep up to date with your favorite blogs without necessarily having to visit each one every single day. Instead, you can go to this one location
to keep up with all of them. I highly suggest making iGoogle your homepage so that when you log in to Internet Explorer or Firefox or whatever browser you use, iGoogle is the very first thing that comes up. If you have any questions about RSS, please email Molly at realestatetomato.com.